Hey guys, happy Friday. We have uh, three topics for you today. Our first topic is we will go over the normalized flux graph of Tabby Star for today, July 21st. And we'll do this by showing you a light curve update that Dr. Tabitha Boyajian provided from LCO. We will also superimpose the long-term accelerated dimming curve on the flux graph to serve as the alternative referenced nominal flux demarcation. And we will show you our first iteration and current best estimate of the equation of the long-term accelerated dimming of Tabby Star, and we'll calculate from that an estimated date in which Tabby Star will fade to black. So this is today's flux graph in the R-band taken at two different locations on opposite sides of the globe and across multiple telescopes at each site. And this is today's current flux measurement in red. And referencing the conventional normalized flux line, it looks like we are still below nominal flux levels and sitting around 1.0% below nominal levels. Just to uh, make it clear, guys, this channel's position is that the flux will not return back to the uh, stagnant nominal flux line because of the accelerating long-term dimming. So eventually the static nominal flux line will have to be lowered and you will see this clearly uh, in some of the material in this video. So uh, now we will show you the estimated accelerating long-term dimming curve to serve as an alternative nominal flux demarcation. The uh, blue curve is the estimated nominal flux curve, which is synonymous with the accelerating long-term dimming curve. And the two data points taken today, one of them is right on the curve and the other is slightly lower at about 0.4% below. So we will continue to show you both the conventional and the long-term dimming accelerating curve for your comparison. So uh, now we are going to discuss our best estimate of the equation of the long-term accelerating dimming curve. So the initial conditions, units, and base definition are as follows. The initial condition is the flux level on May 6, 2017, with a normalized flux of 1.004. The variable F in the equation is the normalized flux relative to these initial conditions. The variable t in the equation is expressed in the number of months, and the base of the equation is the natural logarithm. So this is the equation of the long-term accelerating dimming curve of Tabby Star, and it is our best fit to the data we have so far. Using this equation, you can clearly see that the difference between the old static nominal flux line and the accelerating downward movement of the long-term dimming curve is getting larger and larger. Eventually, the old nominal flux line will have to be lowered to be relevant. So this is the calculation of the estimated date that the long-term accelerated dimming curve will terminate. This is the equation of the long-term accelerated dimming curve. So setting the normalized flux level to zero, we get a total of 174.45 months from our starting date of May 6th of this year. That equates to 14 years and six and a half months of sometime in mid-November of 2031. That's the date we project will be the termination point. This is a graphical and tabular representation of that curve over those 14.6 years with our first iteration and current best estimate of the equation. As we get more data over time, we will tweak the coefficient and exponent slightly to hone in on our final equation. And we will uh, disclose this as we make these adjustments. We are keeping uh, data obtained from AAVSO, which we will show you in an upcoming video. This real data will guide us even further in perfecting this equation. So if this happens the way we pre uh, predict, it will um, be one of the biggest events ever witnessed to see a star fade away at an ever increasing rate. So uh, sit back guys, you have front row seats on this channel to watch the whole event unfold in real time. That's all we have uh, for you today. Enjoy your weekend and we will see you in our next video.